Ladies and gentlemen, hi. I am Dr. Rajpal Singh, Senior Interventional Cardiologist at Fortis Hospitals, Banargata Road. I am here today to talk to you about the management of acute myocardial infarction and the role of a particular technique known as primary angioplasty. Acute myocardial infarction or a heart attack is one of the most common life-threatening problems that you and I face in daily life. The recognition of this and treatment of this is paramount in terms of reducing the risk of a death, long-term complications such as heart failure, heart rhythm abnormalities and other correlated issues such as kidney failure and so on. Why are we talking about acute heart attacks and, thing, and uh, management? It is because it has been shown in the systems that one particular treatment is over and above the other. Yes. Thrombolysis is one mode of treatment. This works by giving a clot busting medication. This works most efficiently when the duration of uh, time between the onset of pain and the treatment is less, i.e. we call this as the golden hour. If within the golden hour a patient presents to a hospital, then giving a clot busting medication is quite effective and is what is recommended. Beyond the one hour, the benefits of thrombolysis in terms of saving lives, in terms of reducing the long-term complications of a heart attack goes down in percentages. This is where the other technique which is the proven technique known as primary angioplasty comes into play. What is primary angioplasty? This is a catheter driven technique wherein we pass a fine wire across a blocked artery. We open it either with a balloon or by sucking the clot out and we reinforce the result by putting in a wire mesh known as a stent. This technique is known as primary angioplasty and it has been proven beyond doubt that if you get it done in the proper hands, in experienced hands, in a hospital which has got a good volume of angioplasties being done, supported with a very good technical uh, team as well as an intensive care support team, the risk of death, the risk of long-term complications such as heart failure, cardiac arrhythmias, renal failure is significantly reduced. So if you were to have a choice in terms of getting the best treatment for uh, an acute myocardial infarction or an acute heart attack, do go to a place which has got the best of facilities. We go to a place which has got well-trained people, people like me who have got experience of more than 20 years in terms of managing acute myocardial infarctions, where we are supported by an equally well-trained team of cath lab technicians and nurses, where we have facilities where to monitor the patient after the stenting which is done. All these are paramount importance in ensuring that the result of a myocardial infarction treated with primary angioplasty is as good as it can get. This World Heart Day pledged to save yourself from the only life-threatening block, block the block.